Hey everyone, this is Jonathan Nicosia. I'm with the RV Shop in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Today we're going to be taking a look at our Renegade Classic 45 CMR. This is a bath and a half floor plan with the Nardo Gray exterior paint scheme with a blackout package. So let's take a look and see what this thing has to offer. This is the Classic 45 CMR Renegade Classic. It's a brand new 2024 model year. It's in the Nardo Gray full body paint. It has the Cascadia blackout package, which includes the wheels, the grill, the handles, the bezels, frameless windows, outside entertainment. You have scene lights on the outside. You have two on the driver, two on the passenger, one on the rear. Full length awning, split in the middle, cover the full length of the coach. Full length mud flap across the back. Upgraded rear lighting. Goes all the way up the back of the coach. Backup camera. 40,000 pound hitch. 12.5 generator. So now I will open this thing up and go through all of the bays right after this. Here we have our 120 gallons of fuel and our def tank filled from single side. On this unit, we've opted for our hood mount mirrors. Got their side view camera right there. Good looking coach with the overhead bunk, all the marker lights really bring it out. So let's open up all these bays and go through them one by one. This chassis is the Cascadia P4126. This has the Detroit DD16 motor, 600 horsepower, 1,850 foot-pounds of torque, capable of towing up to 40,000 pounds, depending on your hitch. All right, now we have all of our storage bays opened up. In the first bay, we will have the 600D Aqua Hot. So this one has the option of the biggest 600D Aqua Hot that you can get in the Renegade. That's your on-demand hot water and your furnace runs off of diesel or electric. Then we have the optional outdoor refrigerator and freezer, the Truma, on a slide-out tray. This is powered by 110 or 12 volt. Next bay is going to be just storage. Has a 110 outlet there. And for 2024, these two bays do connect in the middle uh, to give you the ability to store longer things. Of course, if you remove that fridge, you would have more room there. Beautiful 22 and a half inch Alcoa Duraplac wheels that come with this Cascadia blackout package from Renegade on Michelin tires. Got your docking lights here. This is gonna be the biggest pass-through storage bay. So it's a three-quarter pass-through. So you move all the stuff out of the way, this passes through three-quarters of the way to the other side of the coach. Uh, on the other side of that is your generator. So this is the biggest storage bay you'll get with a Renegade. You do have a 110 power outlet there. Uh, this is your air hose that'll come off with your onboard air pump so this chassis is capable of um, running up to 130 psi to fill up your own tires gen y hitch this is a 32,000 pound uh, flex torsion hitch from gen y and we have your extra tiles everything like that and the last one on the passenger side you have your central vacuum system additional 110 receptacle a little more storage all LED lighting throughout the coach, all the marker lights, side lights, headlights are all LED. And again, you have your 40,000 pound hitch limited to your ball capacity. So these are the specs for this Gen Y hitch. The 6,000 pound tongue weight. Glad hands for trailers with air brakes or air ride. 
Got our seven way plug, regular trailer brakes and lights, and then your Voyager camera if your trailer has a camera on the back. That's already pre wired for that. And all Renegade's badging is painted, so this is not decals. This is actual paint along with the Nardo gray color scheme. Here, starting on the driver's side, we have our Power Shore core reel, automatic transfer switch with the 50 amp plug in this bay. You'll be able to run your stacker or someone else's coach if you need to. 12.5 Cummins Onan diesel generator. Fully capable of running every single thing, every single thing inside of this coach. And now we have our wet bay. So water filter, flow jet macerator pump, switch here, power hose reel. So this will pull out manually, retract automatically. And we have our black and gray tank dump. You can see your tank levels outside. Have a little spray away, be able to hose everything off out here. Black tank flush, cable inlet here. This is city water and you can fill your tank here with just a flip of a switch. Low point drain out outdoor spigot, sewage hose storage. This is where you dump everything. So this is the macerator pump along with the line that comes with it. If you were to remove this, you can just connect a regular gravity sewage hose right there. And that's where you would dump normally. The other tank, so tank capacities. You have 150 gallons of fresh water and two 75 gallon tanks. So you have a 75 gallon black tank, 75 gallon gray tank. Moving forward, we have maxed out the ba battery capacity on this unit for 270 amp hour Dragonfly lithium batteries, along with two 3000 watt Victron energy inverters. One of those inverters is ran to your center AC. So you are able to run the AC going down the road without running a generator, heat pump or AC constantly. Never have to run a generator, really good feature. The very front bay on the driver's side is going to be your chassis crank batteries along with the connection for that air chuck to be able to fill up your own tires and the rest in here is fuses. All of your outside bays are heated so they are um, forced heat from your aqua hot furnace. So let's go inside and check out what this thing has to offer. It is a beauty. All right, so one thing a lot of people want to see is the slides closed and how much room you have in travel mode. So with the opposing seating, this is probably going to be your tightest spot is right here where these two couches come together. But still plenty of room to walk normally. You don't even move sideways. And you can easily get back here to your kitchen, dinette, refrigerator, uh, even to your half bath and full access to your bed. So plenty of room with these slides closed to be able to get back and forth. All right, we are inside of this classic 45 CMR. Let's take a look at the chassis. A few features of this Cascadia dash has to offer. You have all new digital dash for 2023. Steering wheel controls. This is compatible with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. Trailer brakes. You have your interlocking axles, differential lock. You can lower your suspension here. Switch your camera from your trailer to your truck. Engine shutdown override. Land departure warning. You can turn that off. Anti-traction control. Utility lights. That's your docking lights there. Dome light for inside. Footwell. You can regen. You can turn that off until you get to where you want to be. And a light test for the exterior. All of your gauges are digital for these new chassis, so really cool, really nice. You can keep an eye on everything. And then your backup camera is here, backup and side view camera, right where your rear view mirror would be. 
adjustable air ride seats. And this is the optional cab cutout. So if you don't option for this, this will be flat uh, where you have to duck in. But this is the cab cutout to where you can remove this piece to make it easier to get in and out of the cab. Overhead bunk, nice spacious bunk, enough for two adults. You have windows on either side that you can open for a little cross ventilation. 110 plug here with the USB, USB-C and your individual lights for this area. And here is a really good feature. This is gonna be your insulated roof hatch. So you can access the roof from here without having a ladder on the rear of the coach. So really nice. And moving along, this is the opposing seating floor plan. So you have seats across from each other, theater seats across from this sofa that will jackknife down into a little bed, small bed, so the kiddos can sleep here. And above is your TV. It's a smart TV, Samsung. This is on a televator, so this will raise up and down, and you have a nice big openable window behind there. And your AV cabinet's right above here with the optional mesh versus the glass to allow this area to be able to breathe. Across we have our theater seats, power theater seats, center console. Very popular option. If you don't option for this, we can change it out for a sofa, high to bed sleeper. Really nice woodwork on these balances. You have night and day shades on all your windows. Slow rise. We have optioned on this coach, the picture windows above the dinette and above the theater seats. So these are big open windows, no cuts in between them. You can't open these windows, but they offer a really good view outside of the coach clean look from the outside as well. Here you have a Firefly screen that you can control everything on the coach. You have one here and one in the hallway. Dinette that will drop down to a little sleeping solution. Storage underneath. In the dinette, we have 110 USB, USB-C plugs, two, one on each side. Plenty of storage up above. This is the burnished sable stain on this wood. It's a really good looking color. We've optioned for the decorative ceiling medallion in the middle, along with the AC covers. So on your three ACs, they're all covered with this good looking trim. Clean it up in here. For our kitchen, we have a Samsung residential size convection microwave. Storage space above. Really nice backsplash, all hand laid tile with plug-ins, two plug-ins there. Nice deep stainless steel sink. And these are solid surface Corian countertops. Induction cooktop, it is recessed. To be able to put those covers on there, give you more counter space. Plenty of storage. You have these opening drawers, go back a good ways, all soft clothes. Well, and break them in a little bit. More drawers here. And the top one's gonna be your cutlery tray with two stages, top and bottom. for your utensils and then your spatulas, whatever you need to put in there. And you got a little spot for your scrubbies for the sink. More storage. 
and then your under sink storage. That is a subwoofer for this round sound. Yeah, it can be relocated if you want to. Here we have our fuse box. Nice big pantry, more opening drawers, all soft clothes. And here we have our Victron Energy Power Control Center. So this is gonna tell you the percentage of your batteries, um, the status of your solar controller, what's going on with your inverter. You can control this from here. So we're running completely off shore power. Um, no, actually we're, we're not shore power right now. We're boondocking. We're just sitting in the parking lot running off our batteries. Nice entryway, well lit, grab handle on the entrance. And raise and lower that screen, keep the light out. More storage here. This is gonna be your awning controls. Here you can manually open your awning from here. Your wine guard antenna there for your Wi-Fi and your local channels. Here we have our 18 cubic foot refrigerator, French door style, really clean, plenty of space, and then your pull out freezer, two drawers with an ice maker. All soft touch vinyl on, the, on these walls, this is an option from Renegade, so every single wall you see in here has the gray soft touch really helps with the road noise insulation keeps it a little quieter in here and again here we have another firefly panel before we check the bat half bath out we'll go here i like the 45 cmr floor plan because of the amount of storage space you get so this is all removable shelves and this is already prepped to be an extra wardrobe. So if you take these shelves out, plenty of space to hang more clothes. And then we have our Splendid washer and dryer stack right here. A little drawer underneath. You have to store either linens or all of your detergents. Here we have um, some access. To your plumbing for these washer and dryer. Another big drawer here. Check out this half bath. Macerator porcelain toilet. Storage above. Nice accent lighting up there. Fed fan. All matching backsplash. Convenient spot for the toilet paper holder for adjustable shelves. Storage underneath. And then all the mirrors for the vanities in the back and here are openable. Nice little towel hook there. Is a pocket door to be able to close off this bathroom. Bedroom, however. So this is a RV king size bed. You have some little nightstands beside it with little cubbies. Along with your 110 outlets on either side with USBs. Individual reading lights. You can start and stop your generator, turn your fan off from right here, and control all your lights in the bedroom. Full length mirror, ceiling fan. Now this is the split wardrobe setup in the Classic. So the option for this setup, you're gonna get all the extra dressers, the drawers at a convenient height. If you don't option for this, you'll get a bigger TV with a, with a full length wardrobe to be able to hang clothes all the way across but you won't get that dresser space. So a lot of people prefer when they're traveling to fold everything or most of everything and have it folded. So this gives you that option with this setup for the wardrobe. But on either side, you have cedar lined wardrobe closets. 
three dresser drawers down below. This will open up. We have the optional safe. And then another AV cabinet for your satellite boxes and DVDs. For this bathroom, this is my favorite setup in the Renegade Classic. Is this corner vanity. You have so much storage behind all this glass. Every single one of these will open up. Look at that. So we chose this setup for this classic. And then we have our lighting across all the countertop edges and underneath throughout the coach. Another macerator porcelain toilet. Solid surface shower with a skylight. All handmade tiles. Adjustable shower head with a teak seat that will raise up. Beautiful. So again, this is the classic 45 CMR bath and a half floor plan. If you have any questions about this coach or any other coaches in my inventory, I'm going to leave my contact information right here on the screen. Feel free to reach out to me anytime. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have, and I look forward to working with you. Thanks for watching.